still discussing this issue uh, of um, selfless service versus helping to support those around you, mm. based leveraging on your opportunity to, to support those around you. I want to come to you, Mariam. Yes, um, you know, I haven't heard both of them. I feel like we're almost blaming our <laughs> predecessors for not having the money at the time to make some investment <laughs> that would have paid us today. <laughs> I mean, there are some things right now, there are some uh, lands that you sell now, you call millions of naira, that some of us cannot afford today. Mm. And then in many years to come, our grandchildren will hear that, ah, and Stokwa used to sell it for only 5 million naira. And mommy did not buy it, and now it's 100 million. <laughs> would you, do you know how it was for me at that time? Yeah. But I think integrity is about, um, especially with this uh, Jack on the case, is that first of all, you will not give what you don't have. And for many people at the time, they felt that if they give you an education, mm. if they provide for you, you know, all the necessary, all the necessary things for you to grow and become a, a, a human being and the education for you to now pursue your own path, they have done something beyond, my you know, name. and they've given you a name. So that wherever you go tomorrow and you call my name as your father, you'll be respected. Nobody will call you a son of a thief or a daughter of a thief. You know, that is what I've given you. I may not give you millions of naira. I'm not able to raise that kind of money. If I'm not that way inclined, mm -hmm. then, you know, I'm not. But I've given you something. Nobody will call you a thief. And then you cannot give what you don't own. When people say that they have put a platform down, exactly what are we saying? The reason why a lot of us are screaming today when politicians say that uh, they have allocated to themselves this life pension of two cars that will be changed every other year, um, life pension that comes in monthly, all these cleaners and um, um, domestic staff that they keep changing, traveling abroad for their um, health. Are we really proud of that? Yeah. You, should we be proud? Because honestly, the question is, should we be proud of that? Because we are. We have called out politicians today because they did not give family members something. You are a senator of five terms, and what do you have to show for it? And he says, I have my, the, the money what? that was allocated to me. That's what I have, and that's what I use. Do we call anybody the child of a thief today? That's it. That's, what, that's, why, that's why we started to, um, by saying that we have put integrity to on the table, that integrity has no importance anymore because it's money that we worship, mm. material things that we worship. So whether you have integrity or not, if you don't have money, nobody wants to know. Let me take this call. Thanks for calling, Hassan. You're live. Hello? Uh, please, uh, let me put one at the front corner. There's an art of office in which all the public servants, the political servants, we are obliged to take. That your personal interest must not surpass that one of public interest. So the issue now, let us go back to that. And Jack and their son, he is talking about his father being the architect of Banana Island. He said one thing. But he did not disclose to us how many jobs that name Jack and Dave opened for him. Yeah. It's not fair. You see, there's what we call social assets. Yeah. What your father gave to you, Morayo, I know your father very well. <laughs> right from the 12th floor in his labels. What he gave to you is social assets. And so that social asset, I know very well. You must have been drawing from it. Forget about having assets all over the place. Having millions of cars, having stacks of water. That's not the issue. The most important thing is for you to serve the people. Don't allow yourself to be carried away by the crumbs of the office. That crumbs of the office will come and go. People will vote for you because of your father. People who vote for your father because of his integrity. Okay. You see, don't think the society is still corrupt. We are not corrupt. Until tomorrow, we still appreciate good people. Buhari was voted in 2015 because of his performance as a military leader. No. Yeah. Thank you very much. Please, let, me, <clears throat> let me jump in here. Um, yes, our, our recent history since 19, not even 1999, our recent history has made it look like integrity does not pay. Being selfless does not pay you. 
our recent history has made it look like still the most you can steal. So you can buy justice, buy a good name, because our recent history in Nigeria shows that you can buy a good name. It shows that you can buy loyalty. It shows you can buy anything. So our recent history is changing what should be defined right from wrong. Our recent history is not facts. Our recent history is not the truth. Our recent history must be called out for what it is bad, which was why a few days ago here, I said the fact that the president's appointment for me was not good. Because if you appoint someone that has a case against him of corruption, that he settled the state, the, the US, and returned funds so that he is free, then we have a problem. Because what are we doing is we're laying precedence for our children to believe that you can settle and you will, money will clear your name. When we also give appointments to people that there's a video of them putting money in their, pocket, in their cap, we are setting precedence for the future. That is why some child will look up and say, ah, the Nigeria of today, oh my man, I will get into politics, I will steal everything stealable. And I will know that I will settle everybody settleable and I'll be fine. And that is where, why we are where we are as a country. So we, that's one perspective. Another perspective is we have a, we, we grew up in a society where the church, religion, make us feel like it is better for you to have um, riches. I mean, it has to be a good, a good name is better than the riches. Then we also have the idea that having, you cannot, you cannot be a, if you are rich, you must have done something bad to get rich. And that was the mindset a lot of our grandparents, our parents had. So in their mind, they felt like, let me keep my good name. In poverty, I will get to heaven and I'll be rich, number one. Number two, let me keep my good name so that there is no, you cannot find, I won't be caught doing anything bad. And all of this combination is why we are seeing um, a bit of disgruntlement in some children feeling like, my dad had opportunities, he did not take care of himself. You can be rich legitimately. You can be ambitious and have integrity and be selfless at the same time. It can be in one package. And once we don't separate it... And you can still be a selfless leader and still also... Yeah. Help your exactly. people. So that, you can have it in one package. To, yes. So, you can have it in one package. So because mm. you have the opportunity to be the MD of XYZ Bank, mm. and then you are able to provide a platform for your son or your daughter to do something, shouldn't make no, you Comrade, that you are being selfish. I, I know you have a call. But the biggest thing you can give your children yeah. is the ability to be resourceful and generate opportunities oh, for themselves. Oh, absolutely, no doubt about so, that. But even if you give have... an opportunity mm. to a child, because even though I, you see, you can give you can give an opportunity to a child and you mess it up. Mm. But the fact that I have the opportunity to give you that, mm. I can provide a platform for you, and you still you can and you still do it well. So you can actually build on it. Mm. So it depends on the child. You're right. You, the basic is to have that foundation, mm. have the education. I can't put somebody who is a dropout and say, "Come on, become the MD of this because company you're my child. Oh, because you're my I child." No, you have to have yeah. shown shown the capacity to do well but what these kind of children of the jack on their family or whoever else is saying that listen because our father was such a great leader he didn't enrich himself and now we are having to start ground up right and build something for ourselves which is fine but we've seen our other counterparts who didn't have to go that far and they're doing way better than us today that's, that's, that's what i'm saying that's yes, what this man is probably yeah. saying but let me take this call olumide thanks for calling your life um, thank you so much, Amurayo um, and Cole, yeah. so to say. It's not going to be a quick one because, you, I mean, you've taken a lot of my time. I've been holding on the line for a while. That's okay. I'm calling for the first time anyway. Welcome now, to the show. Um, Welcome to the show. Apologies. Uh, yes, I must give a thumbs up to uh, Miriam. She has always been, been, been precise and she has always been, you know, she's always on the point every time she makes her comment with respect to this show. Oh, okay. uh, and I think Tokwe also spoke well on the same issue of integrity. But you see, one thing is so certain that we all need to know, and that has always been the problem that we have in our society. At the point in time, our value system shifted. And only God knows how, and only God knows why. But because our value system shifted, so that made us lose or we lost our what the um, interpretation of integrity should be. Now, talking about um, the fact that you are um, appointed with a, you're on a, in a police school office and you needed to, you know, use your influence to probably, you know, get in your family members and stuff and stuff like that. See, the basic thing that we all need to know is this. If you appoint someone based on, uh, okay, let me use the word nepotism, so to say. If the person do not go through the normal process, I don't want to use the word fake because I don't want to sound pious. 
But if the normal processes that should have built that person to attain that position is not followed or is a uh, short cut some way because of the influence of one person or the other, believe you me, that person will not perform well. If at all the person performs well, at a, at a, a point will come or a time will come that the person will not be able to hold last that opportunity. And when you think of all those people, someone was talking about Jack on Day, you were talking about um, um, Razak, Okoya, and so many others. Don't forget that. They paid the price they needed to pay by themselves. And that's why they were where they are, and that's why today you are still hearing their name. But look at how these children who somehow, some way, because of the influence of their father or one thing or the other, they don't laugh because they didn't go through the process they were supposed to go through. And apart from the fact that they don't also laugh, the truth is that, you see, in this, I mean, today, okay. we have lost the fact that there's a process we have with it. Mm. You know, we are in a microwave um, generation where you believe that everything must be achieved within, mm. you know, in, in, yeah. I, I mean, in, in the blink of an eye, instead of going. Thank you very much, Alumi. Sorry, I lost that call. Let me come to you, Toby, because do we honor our heroes mm. appropriately? Because in a, in, a, in a nation where people are selfless, you know, they, they have, they, the, 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 the society admonishes and, you know, and celebrates them to the point where they are willing to be selfless. Mm. But our nation, as it is, maybe as Dr. has said in our recent nation, we don't really honor our heroes. Mm. If we had taken a jack on day from the beginning, yes, I know eventually all the governors in our state had at some point tried to, you know, remember him. Somebody will say, ah, the anniversary or something, to go and see jack on day, give him one to take pictures, and we're done. The family is left alone. Maybe another four years. You know, that happens. Um, even Ghanifa and me. How many times have we remember, talked about Ghanifa and me recently? Mm. So th this are, that's the reality of the nation that we have. Mm. Do we really celebrate these people who have been selfless? So the children are saying, okay, now nah, our fathers have been great. Ghanifa and me is there. Even uh, Bekor and some Kuti. These are people that were human rights lawyers that fought for this nation. So their children are saying, okay, our fathers had opportunity, this, but they never did it. But what happened to them today? So the point is, are we really, is there some kind of a system that supports these kinds of people whose fathers, who's, um, who had the opportunity growing up? Toby? I actually wish there was a system. But the reality on ground today is that those things, so for instance, you want to employ someone, and the person comes, the person is fit, and then there's somebody else again, equally qualified, and the person says, oh, um, XYZ's grandchild, right? You won't say because of that you would employ because that person has gone. And I also want to say that a good name and fiscal inheritance should not be exclusive of each other. Mm. You can actually have both mm -hmm. and pass it on to your children. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm a bit worried when I hear that in a, a good name or um, <laughs> is, is what you should live mm. as against a physical inheritance is <laughs> somehow, name good job, I mean, <laughs> I, I want to be the That's kind of point. mother that would leave both a good name and an inheritance for my children, physical mm. inheritance. I mean, I because agree. looking at it, a good name also is a form of inheritance. Mm. Okay. Let me take this call. I'll come to you, Mary. Good morning. Thanks for calling. I have a caller. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Morning, sir. Good Mr. Kuchuk. Yes. You're a regular listener to your programs and be calling by the I have an opportunity to get you, but today I'm putting you. Fantastic. Mm. Like the discussion we are having now, the Bible said it's a good name is better than good. Whether you acquire everything on earth, if you acquire everything on earth, in a new source, you feel like acquiring them, and the good name is not there. Those things are in vain. They will surely be in vain. People know how you acquire your wealth. If you acquire your wealth badly, people know that you acquire this wealth badly. And they will, they will, they will tell you, it will, be told, it will be told you to be told on your children. They will say, look at the child of this person, look at the child of this person. But our sinners of nature, our sinners of now, those acquiring wealth, or that way they give them money for uh, uh, constitutional projects, they use it on their own. We know them. By the time they will pass away and our children and their children will come, come on, they will, will pass the information to our children. This senator appear this way in, in, in this form. They will not regard them. They will not regard them. There's nothing like good name. Appearing with everywhere does not even pay. Even when you are said, I know you very well. I said, somebody said, your father, I know you very well. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me come to you, Maria. Yes, I think we're also mixing things up when we keep insisting that uh, um, uh, integrity and if there's no wealth attached to it, you don't understand. Because what do you think the reward for integrity and selflessness should be? When you insist that it has to come alongside your money, it shows to me that, like everyone else too, you're saying that unless money is attached to something, you don't see the worth that it has. Mm. And, you know, that's sad. <laughs> you don't see the worth that just being a Jack Conde's son. Mm. See, I, I didn't grow up in Lagos, I don't, but the moment I entered Lagos, I knew a lot about him. I mean, if his child or grandchild or even great-grandchild shows up today mm. and will refer to that name, you know, it, there's, that word, there's nowhere that they cannot enter, at least in Lagos State. There are some people here, I mean, at least for you, I think it's Babangida. There are some names we call here, Mariah, your face will just change. <laughs> They have money, <laughs> but they do not have good name. Oh, you don't so go for a Yes, you know, they have, they have name. I mean, they have money, but they don't have good names. So it may get them so far, but there are places that they will not enter. There are some times that if they talk too much, people will remind them of who their parents were. Like, you are a thief, just like your father was a thief. I say, if you try me. But Jack on this child may walk in somewhere now, just because he mentioned that name, at least you will get heard. Mm. So money is one thing. Wealth will beget wealth if you can. I mean, I can, if I'm a wealthy person, I can pass on my wealth. I may be a wealthy thief. I may be a wealthy murderer. I will still pass on my wealth. But integrity is a whole different thing. And integrity is above all. And I feel that we're mixing it up and saying the reward for integrity and selflessness has to always be wealth. Okay, we, 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 we are not mixing it up. We're just saying that you can have both. Yes. Right? you asked the question. You said, are we honoring our heroes? Heroes. We are not honoring our heroes in Nigeria based on the way Nigerians behave and based on the way we honor, the pattern of honor that we, we give in Nigeria, we are honoring thieves. Mm. Nigeria honors thieves, Nigeria honors corrupt people, Nigeria honors you if you just have money. Anyhow you get it. In Nigeria. Don't be just, just don't be caught being a thief. But once you have money, you're good. So that's the template and it's a bad one. Why are Americans willing to go and die in the war? Why do, why do Americans take up? You, you, might be, you might find it extremely controversial, but if you are a soldier, you are yes, an Marie. American soldier, yes, there might be, while you're serving, if you enter that plane, they will stand up. You enter the bus, they will stand up. They will upgrade you, as in everywhere. The honor, the honor is too much. They will salute you when you put that flag in front of your house that your child is serving. There is a societal way we can decide to honor police officers that everybody would say send their first class graduates. Mm. Even without, with, with the current pay, we will, because of the honor you give to them. Mm. So it is, the result of our society is based on the level of honor we have given to the things exactly. that, and we will continue to see it until we change the exactly. scripts from inside out. That's, that's mm. one thing. I also, um, there's a quote by Bill Gates. He said that if you were born poor, it is it's not your fault. If you die poor, it is your fault. I think that if parents, children of selfless civil servants, selfless politicians, selfless ministers, should stop feeling like they, are, they, they missed out mm. when they see children of okay. politicians that stole money. Uh -huh. And many children of uh, selfless politicians always feel that way and they say it because they feel like maybe if my dad also did this, maybe I would at least have this house I would have this. Mm. Don't feel like you missed out. Acknowledge that your dad made a sacrifice, your mom made a sacrifice, and it is a big deal. And God has a Even way. teachers who have served. Yes. yes. They have so many teachers who have lived 30 years serving. Primary you know, school teachers. The teachers, they've been there, and, they, and maybe their colleagues who went to go and steal. Is, and, and, and the work they've done is not, is not recognized. They get you maybe a car, after your service here, they give you one, maybe two, three million dollars. And, and you're you're begging you're to not get begging gratuity. for your pension, for your gratuity. Mm -hmm. So it's part of that issue where, and, they're, and, they're, and their family or their spouse saying, uh -uh, you're a teacher now, you had access to this now, why didn't you even 
do something for yourself. Why didn't you even have an opportunity to buy one land? It's now, Yakode's wife is living in Lukeju. Lukeju is, 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 is a nice place in, in, in Lagos. But many of her counterparts in the past, probably, they are probably living in Banana Island right now. <laughs> All the other people, the other, I mean, so we're just saying that feel bad. if we honor our heroes, mm -hmm. we won't be having anybody saying that, feel, ah, feel bad yes. about the fact that their father had the opportunity and then I think he's going to fight corruption. Okay, I was just thinking about honoring our heroes and because we're talking about... Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me pause you for a quick second. I was holding for a minute. Good morning. Thanks for calling. Larry, you're live. Thanks for calling. Good morning. Morning. Hello. Yes, sir. Good morning. First time caller. Oh, welcome Thank to you. the show. <laughs> yeah. um, I'll start with the last, the last speaker talking about uh, values. Our value system is, a big, is one big problem. Let's talk from national honors. How many people who have been selfless have actually been given national honors in this country? You get, you become a GP, you are given the second highest national honor. Mm. You become a governor, you are given maybe the fourth highest national honor. Just because you got to this position. Yeah. We have somebody going around that is the uh, skip is going now in the, in, the, in the social media. Someone that did a bridge from his personal money. Yeah. Until such a person is brought out to be given national honors, mm. people will not respect selflessness. Mm. Secondly, one of you said you can be have integrity and also be rich. Unfortunately, nowadays, the among us web that we witness, nobody got it rightly. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Among us. Nobody. Define the Yoruba used to say, Isale Oro, Olegbe. Isale Oro, Olegbe. Any Among Us wealth, any Among Us wealth has some dark space in it. Is and that, that is what we worship. All of us, you go to a party, a director in the ministry of uh, something, spent, you see, he has spent about 20 million for the wedding party of his child. And you are all standing, you are smiling, you are eating from it. Oh, goodness. Mr. Larry, Tokwa is going to be giving out 40 houses when she's 40. So yes. Legit, and it's real, and, and it's real and money. It's legitimate. And it's legitimate. And it's humongous money. I actually money. really believe, honestly, <laughs> I'm going to beg. <laughs> this mindset is what entrenches poverty in our society. We, we, we look at people that have money and feel like they must There's have gone about it in the corrupt yes. way. I have met... Many people that if you see their, the kind of money that is in their account, you will say, this is humongous, and they did it legitimately. No political affiliation, no contract, not stealing. So it is possible for you to make money legitimately, sir, and every other person watching legitimately. But let me... Yeah, talk, talk, okay, you want to say something? Yes. Go ahead, man. Uh, just a little, you know, from that, because um, people that have made humongous wealth that are not in politics... People have accused them of being affiliated to politicians. Yeah. There's just always so. If you are looking hard enough, you may find yeah, something. You know. Something. But I was going to say that um, yes, we're not doing a very good job of honoring uh, people who have been selfless. Um, but I feel that we cannot blame. There's this Nigeria we like to blame, like we're not part of it. We already do it to each other, you know, in different ways. Where you have a colleague, let's say we're sitting down here and there's one of us that is quite selfless and everything but she does not drive the latest suv as she comes in she's not changing her way she's not traveling the world do we treat her better uh -huh. or, or do we treat her worse so those are the sort of this nigeria that we're talking about yeah it's us all, all of us we that is we all worship materialism yeah. Yeah. we all worship money we all worship Majority. the way it looks that's why you have the issue of people who are insisting on looking a certain way even though they cannot yes. afford it because, because they know that that's, that's what the only way they get is yeah. the respect that yeah. they want so that yeah. name so until all of us individually start respecting people for their selflessness, for their integrity, for their character, mm. then we can have mouths to talk. But all of us, in one way or the other, we just... Mara must finish the show. I mean, I, th I think you've hit the nail on the head. Because really, as, as much as we're discussing to reference in one family, but the truth is that we all do it in different ways. Yeah. Everybody, we change our cars, we change our circle of friends. Because they keep telling you, if you look at the five people around you and they are not, you know, you have to leave that. And you now leave... You, 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 you can you leave good people. And you are allowed to drive into a particular gate. 
and you yes. drive a small car and they don't greet you the same way they greeted mm -hmm. you when you were driving. Exactly. So these are things that we see every single day that, that makes us feel like, listen, these are the people that are honored. Yeah. And we'll continue to look for how we can get into that circle so that everybody wants to be respected. Toby, let me let you jump in for a second. Yes, and speaking on the good name parts, I, I agree that that's number one, right? But there are people also who have left good names and their children after them have behaved in ways that you would question if this person really came from, from this lineage. Exactly. Right? So, for example, now there's this popular actor. When, whenever I hear his name, I'm always thinking that this man is such a really good man. But they've been in the rounds in social media now. And I'm like, why? <laughs> what did this man do to earn this public display of, you know, whatever mm. it is that were... Um, embarrassment. Yes, <laughs> that we're seeing now. And I think that also, beyond the good name also, there are times when it is important to instill the right values in our children because those are the things that will speak up on the days where wealth and mm. physical yeah. cash cannot speak right. We have to wrap up, but I think I have, I have a call from Gombe. Good morning, Honorable from Gombe. Honorable Human, welcome to the show, sir, from Gombe. You're live. Very well, sir. Yeah. Uh, I, I just wanted to contribute on the issue of... Yes. Hello? You're live. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. How are you? Very well. Uh, I just want to say a word regarding uh, the late the the photo of uh, Ego City, like it happened in. I have an honor, and he was opportune, and was opportune to... To, to, start, to, 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 to attend my uh, primary school and the uh, part of every school in Lagos. And uh, part of the thing that makes move my mind is that the way this man introduced the free education system in Lagos. I remember even the Bible we used, the food, the jobs, the pencil, the inside book pencil, all this we were able to enjoy privileges under the administration of uh, our time in the second day. So truly, to leave a legacy of them is far better than civic and material uh, wealth for, for children. You see, in Lagos now, if you look at what is happening, all these high-rise schools that were built currently in Lagos by the present and, uh, you know, the immediate past administration, all the areas were reserved and that That time, I remember, he built those, those uh, half, halfway blocks in this, that we call Chapati blocks. People were not in that time, not knowing that he had to show those lads. Otherwise, by now, the state government wouldn't have put in any place to mm. build those high-rise uh, right. uh, buildings for children that are out there. Thank you very much, Honorable Matwa. Let me take a message also here. Um, this is from Otumba Karim. Is that what you have? Otumba Karim? Okay. I am not surprised Babake Kere Alaji LKJ did that. He's one of those we can refer to as a politician, not a geontician. <laughs> I remember seeing him in the Toyota Crown car at Oshodi then. Not bulletproof or state of the art. It is a high time we, uh, we have a new social order and recognize those who impacted our lives positively in politics, education, health, economy, and etc. Pa um, Benedicta on YouTube says, Pa Taiwo Akimomi that designed the Nigerian flag. Um, I remembered only during, in the, during the independence mm -hmm. that a car cannot even reach his house due to bad roads. Um, another, uh, Bukumi says, in a bid to leave physical inheritance for our children, we mustn't lose sight of the good name and the importance of training yeah. your child well and giving them um, values like integrity and respect. Um, another person said, and Nam says, if, if um, Jack Onde had app appointed some wealth to himself, he wouldn't be revered today as he is. My parents' main inheritance to me is education. They sacrificed for me to get it. Um, Moses Ade says, at what stage of life did children ask parents to acquire wealth on their behalf? The issue is we are raising an entitled generation. That's also very important mm. to highlight. Mm. Um, Ola Didi says, our value has shifted indeed. It is evident in the caliber of people leading us, um, people who you believe might be crooks, mm. according to him. Um, okay. Class mentality and people are not guided or measured in speech. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Mm. So, that, that, I mean, I think that's a good way to wrap up the show. But I think um, the reason why we had this conversation is because of the, the speech Mr. Shei Jacone had. He never complained to us that he was, he was, he was sulking, that his father didn't, didn't um, have a land. That's not the objective. He was just highlighting 
that his father never apportioned. And we're then using that to see how a lot of people like that um, always feel that maybe their father's selflessness um, could have actually also benefited them somehow. You know, even the basic, nobody's asking you to go and steal. But something as basic as having some property so that mommy is not in Ilupeju at this point, or maybe she's having vacation in London at this at 60 years, she's retiring well, you and, know, and you know, stuff okay like that. To and, even, and, and, it's, and it's also okay if you don't. I mean, listen, trust me, it's I okay know. if you don't. But I'm just saying that they are, fit, they, are, they are different people in different, different strokes yeah. or different folks. Yeah. But as a former governor, I wish them all the best, and I'm sure that um, the Gossip government will do the needful. And I will also hope that all those across states, yeah. Other people, they are heroes in the far corner of Tarabase, far corners of various, various places within the country that that's, they're hoping that the, the government will be... Tarabase. Um, that's so random. Sorry. <laughs> honored. That's all we can take on today. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.